Nadia Shihata is the federal prosecutor who successfully tried one of the two cases that put R. Kelly away, and she is live with me now. Nadia, thanks for being on. Is this deja vu all over again when you see the indictment against P. Diddy? Well, there are certainly similarities, no doubt. Um, prime among them is the use of a racketeering charge in this case um, and the description of a network of individuals, employees, personal assistants that are um, helping facilitate uh, crimes involving illegal sexual activity. So there certainly are parallels between the two cases. But when it comes to the parallels, are you spotting specific like connections to your playbook? Does it look like they're using your playbook in the in the Diddy indictment? I think every case is different. Um, I think certainly the R. Kelly case provides kind of a roadmap that um, any prosecutor who's prosecuting a similar case would would likely look at you know other cases that have charged similar activities. So that's not um, surprising uh, in a case like this. So the big difference between the two of them is that the allegations of, uh, against R. Kelly involved a lot of underage um, criminal behavior. That's not necessarily being alleged with P. Diddy, but it's not going to make a whole hoot of difference, is it, in terms of the length of the sentence for the kinds of crimes that are alleged against Diddy? Yeah, you're right. That He is charged with very serious crimes. Um, the most serious among them is the sex trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion. Uh, crime, and that carries a 15-year mandatory minimum sentence if he's convicted and up to life imprisonment. So whether or not uh, the charges involve minors, and, and so far you're correct, they don't, um, they're still incredibly serious federal charges he's facing. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.